Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBDesigns.com, independent stamping up demonstrator. Today I have a fun fold card for you called a buckle card. That's the name I've seen um, in pin on Pinterest when cards have looked like this. They have a little slot there that like a belt buckle and it attaches. So I did a little modification. I didn't actually look at any of the measurements that people had on cards that I saw on Pinterest, but I came up with my own and it may be just like somebody else's you've seen or it may be new, I'm not sure, but it worked for me. So to make this buckle card, as you can see, one of the fun things about it is the design of the card. However, the star of the show here is this Mosaic Mood Specialty Designer Series paper. Now this designer series paper has the hummingbirds in it in a mosaic pattern with the um, inlay of the little pieces of mosaic tile. You've got the leaves and one side of the designer paper has a, a sheen on it, like an embossed, clear embossing over it. And the other side is just as beautiful with a mosaic pattern, but yet it's a flat. Um, a matte side. So it is really, really pretty. So on this one, we're only doing two little stampings in here, but we're going to let this hummingbird here really show off his stuff here. As you can see on the designer paper, I have a bigger one over here. Let me grab. So you've got one 12 by 12 and it's got all kinds of fluttering um, hummingbirds going in different directions. So depending on which way his little beak goes, I think will determine the way, the which way you're going to orient your card. So on this one, when I fussy cut out, it was really easy to fussy cut too. I just, and you know, Cindy is not a fussy cutter. So it was super easy to cut out. And since his beak was facing this way, I kept the focal point on the left hand side of the card. But on this one, the card we're gonna make now, I have my little guy and he's his beak is facing towards the left. So I'm going to see what it looks like having the flap on the right side of the card. So let's get started here. Oh, and I did use the here's a card stamp set um, on this. And I just love the way that you have two open areas here and it just was perfect for happy birthday and thank you for being my friend. So some really cute um, sentiments in this. Uh, I love this, it's all messy. The hair, the house, the heart, <laughs> life. That's me, yes. Okay, so here we go, let's get started. We're gonna be using some of the colors in the mosaic mood designer series paper, which is a great starting point there. You've got um, Blushing Bride in here and Crushed Curry and Garden Green and Mint Macaron, Terracotta Tile, which I used for the stamping of the sentiments on there. And you've got Soft Suede and Very Vanilla. I love all those colors together. So we're gonna be using our Garden Green cardstock. And this piece here is cut to eight and a half by four and a quarter. And then I just scored it at three inches. So I put it into my stamp and trimmer over to three inches and I scored it at three inches. So I have a three inch flap to fold over. So again, that's eight and a half. And then it is four and a quarter. And then you can either, if you're putting it in this way, of course you're gonna score it at five and a half to make your A2 size card. But if you put it in this way, it's gonna be at three inches. But you want this three inch flap on this side. So whichever way you're folding it over. But on this card, we're gonna fold it this way. And don't worry about writing down the measurements. Um, I know a lot of times when I would watch videos, I'd be writing everything down and rewinding it. But you can find all the measurements and the materials, products, colors that I used on these cards on my blog underneath my picture there's a search bar and if you put in buckle card or buckle technique or the here's a card or the mosaic mood specialty designer series paper up will pop this card and then you can find all the information you need okay so what we're going to do first is we're going to as i said we're going to change the orientation of this card we're going to change it so that it flaps the opposite way. So on this one, that means I'm going to have the flap coming on the right side. So what I'm gonna do is take this two and three quarters by four inch piece of this real pretty green that's in that set. And so I'm going to just take my snail, I almost hate to cover up that beautiful side there that has flowers and butterflies. And we're just gonna put this on with a nice one eighth inch border all around but I can't we're gonna do it that way but I'm gonna do it this way because this is the way I'm standing here so we just want to get a nice border why is okay 
I keep. Do you ever do that? You get it halfway down and then you're just like, no, that's crooked right there. So let's just pray there. Yes, a lot of praying goes on with stamping. So I'm just going to flatten this little guy out again here and make what should have been a nice quick video even longer. So there we've got a nice angle. There we go, Cindy's happy now. Okay, so now we have, but we're gonna put it over onto this side. Now we have to cut this little flap here for our belt to go into the buckle like that. Okay, so what we're gonna be using is the classic label punch. And when you just open up your card, open up your punch, and you know, if you have trouble with these popping out, it's because if you don't have this pushed the whole way up towards the Stamping Up logo, if you don't have that pushed the whole way up so that it has clearance to punch, if it's down here and you punch it, you're gonna pop this thing out. So always make sure that you're pushing on those grooves and then you won't have that problem, hopefully. So if you put your punch the whole way in to, so that the edge, is butt up inside there, okay? So you butt this paper up against the inside of your punch, and then just make sure you have the same amount. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you can eyeball it there and see that you have the same amount on your left and your right side, and that it's flush with the inside of your punch, and then just punch it out. And luckily, this paper, even though it has that embossing on there, it's not real super thick, so you can punch through very easily. So there you've got what's gonna be the part that your belt's gonna go into the buckle. Okay, so then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put in the inside of our card, and I'm using Very Vanilla, and the measurements for that are four inches by five and a quarter. I've got a stray piece of a wire here in my way. Sorry about that, kids. Okay, it was getting on my nerves there. Okay, so we're just going to get a nice 1 8 inch border the whole way around the card there, so with our very vanilla. And then as you can see, we're gonna have to put on this card, it went this way, but since we're gonna make the orientation of this card, we're just gonna turn it this way. Now this piece of garden green is five and a half inches by one and three quarters. So one and three quarters by five and a half. And then I just scored the last quarter inch. And then I put some tear tape on there. And then I can just take off the protective backing. You might have to trim down your tear tape a little bit. And then you're just going to slip the belt in there. And you'll just look at it so that you have about the same amount of space on each side of that punch of the classic label, you can see that you have an equal amount of space. And then just pull that score line. Let me get it straight there. See how you've got it about the same amount on each side. And you're, that's gonna be covered up, so if it's not perfect. And then you'll just fold down on that score line and you're just adhering it right on the back. And because they're both the same color, it just blends in and you don't even see that. So there we go. We're going this way though, remember? Okay, so what we're going, wait, how did I do that? Did I do, wait, this little guy, I want him to be, yeah, I want him to be facing that way. So. This is a really great tip too, because this paper um, is so pretty. It's like that paper you sit aside and you just keep looking at it and touching it and not wanting to use it or cut it, but I actually did. I went, I went and cut it. So what I did is I wanted to use the paper, you know, in the best economical way and to save as much paper as I could, but yet still enjoy the paper. Um, so. This, is, this card has a lot of showcasing of all three of these patterns, but we're really using two and three quarters by four. So that means we get three times three. We're gonna get nine pieces of this out of a 12 by 12. And then I cut this to one and a half by three inches because we're gonna end up covering up this part here. So you're actually gonna get four across and then one and a half, you'll get eight times four, which is 32. <laughs> You'll get 32 pieces of this out of a 12 by 12. So that's really good use of your paper there. So you're gonna put some snail on here, and then you're just gonna create a nice 1 8 inch border around 
the top, the bottom, and sorry it always takes me so long to get this on here, but I'm always eyeballing it. Okay, so as you can see, you have a nice little border along here, and now you're getting to see two of the gorgeous papers, and then I use the new 3D Mosaic embossing folder. So I used my punches and I used my two and a quarter inch punch for the crushed curry circle and my two and a half inch punch for my terracotta tile. And you know what's really fun about um, when the new colors come out? You, you think that you've seen them but like terracotta tile is you think it's like Calypso Coral, but Calypso Coral is much brighter. Um, actually, let me just grab a piece of it for you to show you. Oh, here it is. Um, just how much different of a color it is. So you can see it, this is like more in the um, kind of a, not darker tone, but I, but they're definitely different colors there. So, um, so when I'm, sometimes when you're, um, you know, I'm looking at the new in colors coming out, I think, oh, we already have that color, but we don't. So there we are we're gonna put our crushed curry mosaic circle on our terracotta tile circle. And again, that was a the terracotta tile, the bigger one is two and a half, and then this one. And if you look really close into that um, mosaic there, each one of these little squares actually has more indentations, just like, like brick has in it. And then that is going to go on our card, and then we're gonna put our little bird there. And it just seems right that he's oriented towards that way. Seems right on the right side, okay. So I'm going to suggest that we do put um, some tear tape and we're gonna put it right along the side here. So if you're making it this card, you're gonna put your tear tape along the end here and along the end here. Depending on which side you're using, you want it on the end, not over here because you have to um, open the card up. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of tear tape here and I'm gonna put it right there. And I actually think I might stick one more piece there. And there we go. Then use my paper piercer to get the protective coat coating off of there. There we go. And whoop, there we go. Now we can put our circle, and I just kind of eyeballed my circle so that it was right in the middle of that rectangle with the green leaves. And then you put it there, and you see it's not attached. You don't wanna attach it. You want this to be open here so that it can slip into the buckle, so that belt can slip right into the buckle like that. See, that's the way it would be if we were making this card, but since we're putting our hummingbird on here, we wanna do it this way. Now, one thing you wanna remember with the hummingbird as well is you do not want to put attach him there because then you won't be able to open it. So I did that on here. I had had a dimensional under here and I put it all down then I went to open it and I couldn't open it. So be careful of where you place your dimensionals. Think about where it's going. And this uh, little guy here is a little smaller than, so he's gonna be pointing that way. So he can actually have one here. We just don't want it to be attached up here underneath onto here. So let's see, you kind of feel around and see where it feels a little flimsy. So I might actually give him a little bit, take a little piece of one of those edges and put it right there. Okay, and then we will just take off our little backing off our dimensionals and then we'll just put that facing that way. There we go. So we've got our hummingbird there and now we're gonna put our sentiment on this side. So you can see you've got two different types of cards and I really think I made a good call when I faced it this way. So we're just gonna take our two sentiments. We're going to open up our stamp pad, grip a nice strong grip on the side that's gonna open, press on this side, flip it open and always snap it together because when it's flimsy, you might end up making a few little mistakes there. So then I just mounted my happy birthday on here and I just happened to have um, a couple blocks that had, had grids already on them that makes it really easy to make it straight. And then I'm just going to stamp happy birthday on the top. There we go. 
And then I'm going to make sure I'm stamping the right way. And I'm going to do the thank you for being my friend. I hope I thought that really went well together. And that would just go down on the bottom. And the nice thing about this is that gives you, you can write in here, but you can, you have all this space to write a message here. So then you just close your card and you just pop the little buckle, the belt into the buckle. There you go. Do you often wonder when you make these fun folds if the people who receive the cards actually know how to open them? So there we got there not there we got there we have two different cards um, the same measurements that you can find on my blog but they open a different way depending on how you cut your your hummingbird so this mosaic mood special designer paper is the star of the show here and just you can think of many different stamp sets that you have that have like an inside and an outside sentiment and I thought this just worked really well and it pulled out the colors that are in the card so this is called a buckle card and like I said I've seen many different um, demonstrators with pictures of these and I just kind of went with it made up my measurements and I hope you enjoyed it if you did you can give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel I like to post on Wednesdays with a video for you all if you want to subscribe to my blog, cindyleebdesigns.com, you can subscribe over there. I like to post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And anytime Stamping Up has news, promotions, new stamp sets coming out, new catalogs, which just came out September 4th, the holiday catalog. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call me. I got to meet a new friend on, I've oh my gosh, I've got to meet so many new friends um, online who call and ask me questions. And it's just so fun to like talk to people that we're it just it's awesome my my new friend Rebecca and I just talked to, to a new friend Gloria and it's just like we have this common bond of stamping so I love to talk to you guys and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to call me 724-323-2296 or you can email me at cindyleeb at gmail.com thanks for buzzing by friends